What's going on guys, Gums here, back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. We got another roster update coming in real hot. I think we're like, I don't know, we're close to like a third way done with the season. That seems so, so asinine to even consider the fact that we've only had like 20 games per. Uh, but the Rays... Have uh, had a kind of good 20 games. Let me know how your team's been doing so far. This roster update's going to be a bit sooner than usual. It is going to be on Thursday, so make sure and make your investments probably while you're watching this video. But speaking of investments, uh, before we talk about that, make sure to leave a like down below. Definitely helps me out. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. On the road to 50,000, we're going to have some 99 Totsies gameplay tomorrow. Uh, pretty crazy shit going on right there. So, as always, we're we're going to talk about 10 guys that are actually going to make you stubs. Some guys that I think are going to go up in the roster update. You buy the ones that I say once they hopefully go diamond or gold, uh, then you're going to make a ton in investment. So let's start things off. We're going to look at the New York Yankees. I uh, had a lot of good players this year so far, but we're going to be looking at Luke Voigt for another potential gold. So he's a 78 right now. I think he just went up plus one last update against righties this year so far um now that we've had uh, at least a good chunk you know some players are starting to hit the 100 plate appearances which is nice 275 529 slug 880 ops with four homers and five total extra base hits against left-handers hitting 308 thousand ops uh thousand slug 1308 OPS, three homers, and 13 at bats. And uh, he has 22 strikeouts to four walks. And he had a two home run game yesterday against the Red Sox, who are really fucking bad this year. Sorry if you guys are Red Sox fans, but Luke Voigt's been pretty damn good. You know, he's been really valuable for the Yankees. Again, he just got boosted up one. It could go either way. I could see him going gold. He is a pretty low key investment at six. That's a really bad omen right there. Uh, maybe he's not going gold for sure. Good lord, look at his sell now price. Who knows? Nonetheless, that's just uh, all much better. Pretty low-key investment. Not going for too much. I'm going to say 79. We're going to see he could go gold. This is going to be my first lock of the week. Brandon Lau, otherwise known as uh, the third leader in OPS in the entire major leagues this year. Brandon Lau is probably the most underrated player in baseball right now and i say that with no bias and no smirk on my face i'm completely serious against right he's hitting 309 618 slug 985 ops of three homers nine extra base hits lefties 400 thousand slug 1483 ops with four homers and seven extra base hits he does strike out still 22 times, but that is a lot better than 28 vision would go to show. He doesn't walk near the likes of Aaron Judge or Joey Gallo, so I don't know why they're smudging his name in the dirt like that. Um, but like I said, only Jesse Winker and Bryce Harper are higher in OPS. Who would have thunk it? Brandon Lau is a guaranteed gold. He's currently going for 829. Not the biggest profit margin, but it is guaranteed stubs. You are literally printing money again. You are losing out if you are not investing in Brandon Lau this week. Here's going to be a controversial one. We're going to have Whit Merrifield. We talked about Stanton possibly going up. I didn't think he was, but I still talked about him. Same thing here. I don't think Whit Merrifield's going to go up for a couple reasons. Against righties this year, hitting 278, 486 slugging percentage, 815 OPS, four homers, and seven extra base hits. He's hitting more home runs than usual. Against lefties, hitting 389, 667 uh, slug, 1117 OPS, homer, and three extra base hits 15 uh, to 4 strikeout to walk ratio and uh, he's 5 for 15 with the homer and 2 extra base hits in his uh, last game since the last update which they usually look at I think Wednesday nights typically the last ones they really factor in barring unforeseen circumstances you know like an update coming out on Thursday but I just don't think there's enough there for wit yet if he has one more good week I do think he's gonna go diamond I just don't see it yet 
And regardless, there's better guys to uh, put your stubs into going diamond than Whit Merrifield right now. So uh, I would pass up on investing on him. I do not think he's going to go diamond this week. Because uh, also, I don't really know how many guys we're going to have go down. We can't have like four or five new diamonds, which there could be this week, and have nobody go down. Liam Hendricks is another possibility. This is a very possible one, just like Whit Merrifield. He's been the best closer this year. He's finally broke the ace trend. Uh, one of the only relievers that have actually stood the test of two fucking years and actually been consistent. Uh, I love Blake Trine. It's kind of bouncing back. 159 ERA, 0 0.88 whip, 175 opponent batting average, 17 strikeouts, 3 walks given up, 11 in a third inning pitch, 7 for 8 on save opportunities, and in his last 3 appearances, 5 strikeouts and 0 hits allowed. I think he had 1 walk, so just 1 base runner out of his last 3 games. The thing with Liam Hendricks is, usually they take a lot for closers to go diamond. I think there's absolutely enough for one of the few us, uh, one of the few Aussies in baseball to go diamond. He had a fantastic year last year, and this year he's probably even better. Like I said, he's definitely him and Kenley have been the best relievers, the best closing pitchers, alongside Zach Britton. He's in the mix as well. Um, I don't know. This is tough. It's closer than Whit Merrifield. My gut decision is no, since he didn't get upgraded last time. But again, the A's are one of the best teams in baseball. I could definitely see him. He's only going for 3.4. It's tough. Fuck it. He's going up. Fuck it. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say Liam Hendricks is going diamond. I really want to see that happen because he deserves it. Another guy who deserves it is going to be Zach Greinke. This one, I think, is one of my most confident picks for diamond this year. Uh, or this update rather, but they always seem to shaft Zach Grinky. I, I don't really get it. It took him so long to go diamond last year. I Hopefully that's not going to be the case this year. He just threw a gem tonight. Eight innings pitch, no earned, seven strikeouts, three hits, and no walks given up against the Rockies. Unfortunately, the Astros suck ass. Uh, so I... Uh, he didn't get the win. They had like three hits up until he got taken out, went into extras. Uh, but Granky on the year, 184 ERA, 089 whip, 208 opponent batting average, still really elite stuff, 25 strikeouts. For Granky, that's pretty good. Four walks given up, only one home run, which might be the kicker. That might be really all he needs. It's not going to affect gameplay. But we're not, nobody's going to use an 85 Grinky anyway. Nobody nobody that would use the 84 would suddenly care about getting a plus one for some you know minimal stats. I think he's going to go diamond. I'm pretty confident in this pick. He's going for 4.1. Nobody, when I first was orchestrating my uh, predictions, uh, was really investing. It was at like three something. Now... I don't know, I guess people caught wind of the Rocky Astro game today. Moving on to the Braves, this is going to be my second lock of the week. We got Max Fried, who has been, you know, qu kind of quietly uh, the replacement for Mike Soroka after he went down with that terrible injury. Uh, 124 ERA, 090 whip, 173 opponent batting average, 28 strikeouts, 9 walks. That's a little much, but no home runs in 29 innings pitched. Last outing, six and a third, no earned, seven strikeouts, four hits, and three walks given up. Again, he's been moving up a lot in overall this year, but kind of like we've seen with guys like Mike Yastrzemski, that really shouldn't matter because uh, they're that damn good. We saw Dylan Bundy get a plus five up to gold. Max Fried has been just as good, if not even a little bit better than Dylan Bundy. So he really should get gold as well. Going for 800, again, same thing as Lau. Very confident, and it is, uh, you know, it's a free 200 stubs if you're going to get in on Fried and do the quick sell uh, once he does go up to gold. This is going to be a bit of a weird one. I'm talking about Robinson Cano. We typically don't mention 37-year-olds uh, in roster update predictions, especially because we don't do downgrades. Uh, but Cano no is hitting like over 400 somehow uh 457 against right handers with a 743 slug 1230 ops he hit two home runs last night three homers against righties on the year lefties hitting 313 625 slug 978 ops and he's five for 12 with two homers and three extra base hits in the last game since uh the update so cano should 
go gold. Everything is there. He's had a really good year. I know he's not been good last year. It was a really yikes year. I think he probably should get silver defense anyway. He should have at least 70 fielding. Cano, I think he is going to go up to gold. Uh, and again, you know, I'm not as confident uh, as I was for Lau and Freed, but he should go up there. So that's another guy you can invest in. Uh, moving on to the Phillies. Here's another guy who I think is going to go diamond. Like I said, there's just so many candidates this week that are so well deserving and there's just no way they're going to upgrade five diamonds. And the only one I can really see maybe getting downgraded is Lindor, but I feel like that's so shitty because everybody knows Lindor is so goddamn good. I don't think that's going to happen, especially since he just got pegged down one last time. Nola on the season has 205 ERA, uh, 2.05 ERA, 065 whip. 140 it's disgusting 148 opponent batting average 37 strikeouts in 26 innings to four walks given up he's going diamond i really shouldn't even have to tell you but he did go seven scoreless uh with eight strikeouts and three hits and two walks given up in his last start so Irinola is a guaranteed diamond as far as i'm concerned printing money printing a free 800 stubs for everyone that you invest in the last two we're gonna look at the arizona diamondbacks we're gonna look at the milkman we're looking at zach gallon i don't think he's going gold so uh, it's going to be an incremental. I think he's going to go up plus two to a 78, but he's going to be on the brink. So make sure and start looking at this guy. Uh, Zach Gallon's been really good. 204, 2.04, 2.4 ERA, 1.03 whip, 211 opponent batting average, 36 strikeouts, eight walks, 30 innings pitched, seven, uh, seven innings of one run ball, eight strikeouts, three hits and a walk in his last outing. Been really good. Him and Muriel Kelly have been kind of carrying since Bumgarner's been dog shit for the Diamondbacks so far this year one of the worst starting pitchers in baseball this season uh gallon i'm gonna say a plus two to a 78 and then we're returning on an investment uh that's gonna be aj pollock they didn't upgrade him last time well he proved him wrong he did even better. Uh, AJ Pollock this year is hitting 280 against righties, 560 slug, 917 OPS with four homers and six extra base hits. Against lefties, hitting 350, 650 slug, and 1,000 OPS with four extra base hits. And uh, he's seven for 18 with a home run in the last stretch since the last update. Pollock, he has all the stuff there. It's kind of being plagued by his you know, poor defense at 57 and having basically no arm accuracy, but but the contact numbers that he's been putting up, especially against lefties, and a little bit more power than I think some people give him credit for against righties. That 560 slug, I think, should get him across the border and bring him up to an 80. And uh, they're the low-key investment, only going for 580. That is plagued by the Tatsis that just came out. The entire NL West market is absolutely fucked with no warning they did not ask for consent they went in raw no rubber and it is uh it is a damn disgrace that i didn't have more cards to sell off i uh i i i really should not be penalized for being up to date and cleaning out my binder i had just a few cards the ones that you saw scattered across the top those are the ones i could sift through and sell but um yeah that's gonna be my roster update predictions for the august 20th let me know who you guys think is gonna go up let me know if you guys think is anybody gonna, uh, gonna go down like i said Merrifield is possible nola i think is gonna happen granky is gonna happen liam hendricks i think probably could happen there's just so many candidates. It's really exciting baseball right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Here comes Saudi. Yay!